Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. First at five, Shelby County DA Steve Mulroy deciding there will be no criminal charges against the Shelby County Sheriff's deputy who shot and killed Jarvie and Hudspeth during a traffic stop back in June. DA Mulroy still questioned the deputy's actions, including why he pulled over Hudspeth in the first place. 21-year-old Hudspeth died on the way to the hospital minutes after that shooting in Raleigh. ABC 24's Jay Shakur is following up on the case. And Jay, how is the sheriff's office responding? Pepper, in a statement, the sheriff's office said it's relieved the deputy won't be charged, but also pushed back and claimed the DA Monday morning quarterback the deputy's actions. Dash cam video released last month shows the sheriff's deputy at the traffic stop where Hutspeth gets out of his car and goes to his trunk. The deputy searches his pocket. Pockets, Hutspeth reaches for something and then returns to the car. The deputy follows him and tries to prevent him from getting back in the car, but Hutspeth hits the gas. The deputy begins hanging on halfway in and halfway out of the vehicle as it speeds away. Another angle shows the deputy firing his service gun before he's ejected from Hutspeth's car. The decision of the deputy to jump into the vehicle at that point was unusual. Had he backed away, deadly force would not have been necessary. This is another instance of what we have sometimes seen as we review these cases. Now, in August, Jarvion Hutspeth's mother, Charlotte Haggett, condemned the behavior of the Shelby County deputy. The officer voluntarily jumped into the vehicle. He wasn't in fear of his life. Anybody that was in fear of their life would have called for backup. Now, the DA's office tells us the deputy has been released from the hospital, but will have a long process of recovery, and it's not entirely clear if he'll completely recover. We've reached out to the DA's office responding to ask them to respond to the sheriff's office statement, but we haven't heard back. Jay, thank you.